Hi guys, happy Thursday and welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and today is Thursday, August 4th, 2022. Um, today is the fourth, so we're talking about stability. We're talking about foundations, being secure, being stable. It's the emperor in the major arcana. And he's now about being the leader and leading in a way that supports his security and the foundation that he's built for himself. So I feel like today we're going to have an opportunity to really stand in the foundation that we've been building, right? Because we've been doing all this internal work, really working through these things that are trying to fear us, fear, scare us from going after what we want. And we stand, when we stand in this place of power and stability, we say, no, you can't shake me that I built this for me, that this is my kin this is my kingdom, this is my empire, and I will build what I desire, right? Um, it becomes a lot more powerful when we can stand stronger in who we are, when we kind of look those things in the eye, right? We kind of, you know, put those fears in place, and I'm excited. And we also look like, when we look at angel numbers, 444 is, you know, that number that we are going in the right direction and our guides and our master, our ascended masters are here to support us. So I feel like this is a good day where we can kind of just feel the support around. Ooh, yeah, because look what we got. Big week. I mean, big weeks. So we've been, things are changing. In August, I will just say, it's going to be a month where everything is not as it seems. And when I say that, I mean like, situations, challenges, circumstances that arise that could be scary, right? Are really here to, to to change, to change, you know, your environment and things that you're working on. And it could be scary at first, right? Like this death card, it feels scary. This scary, it seems scary, but really it's not as scary as it seems to be. It's coming to actually, you know, create space, create peace, and really bring us closer to our enlightenment. So at first things might pop up again, I feel like I keep wearing, using this word scary. Today might feel like a scary day. Um, as they pop up, it seems scary, but in the end, right? Like we come out of this, like after August or a couple weeks later, when the situation like result, when the situations, whatever they are, resolve themselves, we'd be like, oh, okay. I understand why, you know, I had to go that way or I understand why, you know, that didn't work out with this person. You know, things are not always as it seems. So take everything with a grain of salt and just, you know, be present wherever you are. That's the, I guess, the the message I'm trying to say there. But when we look at death, death is a major arcana card. So a major lesson that we are learning today, which is to, I want to kind of combine that with, you know, the number four that we were talking about earlier is to stand in this stable, secure place. We must get rid of and purge anything that doesn't, you know, support and promote that stable foundation, right? Because that if we have you know, a faulty, a faulty line or, you know, say we're, you know, we think about it like, how, what's the analogy I'm trying to say here? You know, you got a piece of wood in the house that's rotten. It's not going to, you know, over time, it's going to, you know, disintegrate. It's going to fall. Then the foundation is not going to be strong enough. Right. And so it's kind of like that going through doing some internal cleaning, getting rid of maybe some, you know, broken, oh, I can't, my words, literally words are leaving my mouth obviously, but like, I mean, my mind would get the broken wood, the broken pieces of foundation out of here, because we're going to something a lot more, again, peaceful, calming, something that we've always wanted. Maybe this is a new job opportunity. We're moving. Maybe we are, you know, getting into new relationships and we have to let go of that old stuff, right? Maybe we are, you know, working through some generational trauma and there's some beliefs that have been instilled in us and we've been reparenting ourselves, and it's time to really give a nice little flush to whatever those things are and to know that through this process you are supported and protected and the things that are coming up today and that are coming to the surface are what are are what is ready to be let go so sometimes that can manifest in our ego right and, our, and it's scaring us and telling us you know i'm going to relate this to relationships maybe you know you're in a relationship and you're hitting you know another level of commitment to each other maybe or maybe you're starting a new adventure together and your ego can kind of pop up and bring all these scary scenarios right of maybe why not to go down that road and today is a moment to kind of like 
not listen, but to let go of those things and be like, no, I'm stronger than that thought. And I know where I am in my relationship and I trust it. And we wouldn't be moving into this next adventure if it wasn't what was for us, right? And just kind of talking yourself, I feel like off that ledge a little bit and being like having peace with those thoughts and be like, I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let myself go down that road again. Right. Because I know who I am. I know what we've created and I know who they are. And this is something stable that is going into the future with me. Right. So it's kind of that energy. Um, and even when we look at this, there are, you know, there's all this blue and all this water. So still like your intuition is leading and I just feel like a big energetic release. So if you have to cry today, let it out. Crying, I'm a Pisces, that's the way that I let go of things. But it could feel like that, like a big energy release as you let go of this big weight, this big emotion, this big thing that's been taking up, it's like your elephant in your room that takes up space, right? And we're getting rid of that, we're letting it go, we're letting it pass. And as we do, our intuition, again, brings us closer to where we want to go. So I love the imagery that it's giving us this week because again, it's like very like, don't judge the book by its cover. Just because it might feel hard in this moment doesn't mean that where it's taking you isn't something beneficial, right? Because that's like this scene right here. Look, it goes into this like enlightening, I want like the sun to be right next to you, right next to it. Which we have these cards. If I were to keep pulling, it'd be these, the Ace of Wands and the, the Three of Cups. So it seems scary right now, but we're going into a space of where we're creating in new ways, right? We're creative and we're tapped into this energy that is exciting, that's enthusiastic, that makes us motivated to go after our dreams. And it's something that we can celebrate. There's success around the corner when we just work through what is coming up right now. Um, and then there's a rose on the flag and roses are a symbol of rebirth. So this is us like really transforming, really rebirthing, really leveling up. Um, and the card is, sorry, 13. So one plus three is four. And again, this is all helping us be stable because that thinking is that faulty, you know, structure that we need to let go of so we can build something stronger so that we can stand more confident in who we are, in our power, in these dreams that we're building, right? In the success that we're cultivating all around us. It doesn't happen if our foundation isn't stable and we don't feel secure in who we are and what we're doing. This is a great day to tap into that security and really, you know, take advantage of some techniques that we've learned to help ground ourselves, right? That help put us in this place and that that positive, I mean, a positive mindset. It doesn't really need to be positive, but there's a mindset to, you know, not let these things shake us, that we are a lot stronger than the situations that are coming up right now. And, you know, if it's not, if it comes up and it doesn't align and it's not for you anymore, well, that's, that's the indication to let it go. So let go and let the space be created for new to come in because we can't have it all. We can't take it all with us, but it's coming to wipe it out so we can build what we want to have again. Okay. I love that. Um, if you'd like to know more about me, what I have going on, and you'd like to book a tarot reading, you can go to ashleyrose.com. You can follow me on Instagram as well. That's Ashley Rose Tarot. The links are in the description and I will see you guys tomorrow for the daily tarot reading.